Greetings, you wonderful people. I'd like to answer a question definitively, actually, completely and totally. There has been much controversy regarding the flying of the Union Jack. Oh, they're stopping us. They're not encouraging us to fly the flag. I think they're suppressing our very patriotic souls in, in, indeed. Well, are they? Who's they? What is the actual guidance and government official statements regarding the flying of the fabulous Union Jack? Well, let's turn down the music ever so slightly and have a, have a look in black and white on what it really says. Um, let's have a look at the government's website. So here we are on the UK government website and it's the guidance, Union Flag Flying Guidance for UK government buildings. So we'll start with government buildings themselves. Designated days when the Union Flag must be flown on UK government buildings. UK government buildings are also encouraged to fly the Union Flag all year round. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? They're encouraging government buildings to fly the flag all year round already. Fabulous. So if we scroll down a little bit further, here we go. The Union flag is the national flag of the United Kingdom. There are designated days when the Union flag must be flown on government buildings. And it says also, however, UK government buildings are encouraged to fly the Union flag all year round. There it is repeated. This guidance is aimed at UK government buildings. However, we would encourage local authorities and other local organisations to follow suit where they wish to fly flags. In other words, there it is in black and white. We encourage you, whether you're a local authority or indeed other local organisations, to follow suit and, fl and fly the flags. Other organisations include chip shops, sweet shops, um, who knows? Knitting organisations. So Doris and, 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 and your friends, get out the flag and fly the flag. Yes, it's encouraged. Now let's look further. Let's look at the College of Arms. Let's, now the College of Arms is the official organisation which looks after the shields, the emblems and the symbology of the United Kingdom. And it has questions and answers. The correct form of the flag, how it should be flown and so forth. Well, let's look, look further down and here we are. Question, what times should I fly the flag? Uh, answer, any individual can fly the union flag at any time. Well, there you go. There it is in black and white. Any individual can fly the union flag at any time. So are you being encouraged? Is it correct? Is it the right thing to do? Are you being asked to do so? And is it perfectly fine? Yes, it is. Go ahead and fly the flag. Put it up on your door, on your roof, on the cat. Hey, he won't like that particularly. He'll hiss and so forth. Maybe put it on the dog and have him run around the park. But being silly or not, yes, that answers the question. You are encouraged to fly the flag. The government does want you to do those. So, so carry on and do it. Because, uh, well, you are, ladies and gentlemen, what makes Britain great. Thank you very much.